From News 19, I'm meteorologist Daniel Bonds. The heat is going to be the big story once again for today. Heat advisory in effect for a large portion of the Palmetto State. Also a heat warning now in effect for the PD over towards the Grand Strand. So some very hot conditions are expected later today. Temperatures didn't drop down a whole lot either this morning, so it's not going to take a whole lot for these temperatures to rise during the afternoon and evening hours. We do expect some showers and thunderstorms though to impact at least parts of the area, so that could help bring our temperatures down a little bit as the cold front kind of swings through the area. And as those showers and thunderstorms moving through, we'll continue to see at least an opportunity for some rain. It looks like even as we go into Tuesday night and possibly into early parts of Wednesday. So maybe a little bit of relief in the form of some showers and thunderstorms. As far as severe weather is concerned, Storm Prediction Center has us under a marginal risk. That's the lowest risk category. That would be a one out of five here. And if we were to get a strong or severe thunderstorm, the greatest threat is going to be damaging wind gusts. Although there's a small sliver here or low risk of hail for a very small part of the Palmetto State. So we'll continue to monitor that opportunity for some showers and thunderstorms. And again, some of those could be strong or even severe. Wednesday, just a small chance for a pop-up shower or thunderstorm and maybe Thursday as well. Looks like Friday will be dry. I think over the weekend it's going to be dry. European forecast model shows the sea breeze front producing a few showers and thunderstorms along the coastal region of South Carolina. Yesterday we made it to 99 degrees. That's the hottest we've been so far this season. We'll probably be in that same range later today. We may even hit the century mark. That'd be the first time we've hit the century mark this year. So no rain yesterday, at least at the Columbia Metropolitan Airport. We haven't had any rain in Columbia since Friday. There'll be that opportunity for some showers and thunderstorms later today. Otherwise, just a very hot, humid day. Heat index values climbing to about 110. So again, heat advisory in effect until 8 o'clock this evening. Heat index values do drop a little bit by tomorrow and Looks like Thursday as well. So mid to upper 90s to possibly near 100 degrees. Low temperatures tonight dropping down into the low to maybe middle 70s with that small chance for a lingering shower or maybe even a thunderstorm. So heat advisory continues until 8 o'clock. Temperatures do decrease tomorrow and Thursday. That's pretty close to normal. Low 90s for highs would be closer to normal. And then things start to dry up. We'll enjoy a little bit more sunshine. but. It'll heat up once again, mid 90s by Sunday, maybe even into Monday. Small chance for a pop up shower or thunderstorm on Sunday. The coastal forecasts, low 90s to middle 90s today. Cooler Wednesday, Thursday with highs in the mid to upper 80s. Upper 80s to near 90 degrees in the upstate. And then as things dry up, those temperatures will start to heat back up as well. We're also tracking two areas in the tropics. Hurricane Center gives both of these a low chance of further development over the next seven days, but you notice a nice little wave that's going to be coming off the African coast. And so two areas we'll continue to watch in the Atlantic. So far, we've had four named storms, one hurricane. In total, we've had five storms. We had an unnamed storm early in the year, but four named storms, and on average, that's what we'd expect at this point in August, four named storms and one hurricane. There's the forecast, 14 to 21 named storms, six to 11 hurricanes, and two to five major hurricanes. And here's the 2023 Atlantic hurricane names. Don was our last one, that was a hurricane very briefly. As we look ahead, eight to 14 day temperature outlook, warmer than normal conditions are gonna stick around. For a large portion of the country, including for us here in South Carolina, August 22nd through the 28th. But the big story today, heat advisory in effect for most of South Carolina and the heat warning now in effect for parts of the coastal region over towards the PD, the Grand Strand, Myrtle Beach. So be careful if you're doing anything outdoors today.